Your morning news now. More than 40 states across the country are seeing a rise in coronavirus cases. About half of the country is now under some statewide mask order. Montana and Alabama are the two latest states to issue mask mandates, but in Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp signed an executive order that prevents local mandates. And yesterday, Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt became the nation's first governor to test positive for COVID-19. You can't treat all schools the same because they're in, they're in different phases. More school districts around the country have announced that they will not resume classes in the fall due to the rising coronavirus cases. Major cities in California have already put their return to in-person classes on hold and will stay with virtual teaching. Some districts in Texas have delayed the return to school by a few weeks. And Florida recently announced that all public schools in the state must reopen at least five days a week. The La Crosse County Health Department says its Check the Spread campaign is off to a great start. Within one week, 107 businesses made the pledge to follow six simple safety measures to ensure employees and customers are safe. The department is also kicking off a new campaign called Mask Up La Crosse. Just take a selfie wearing your mask, send it in a message on the department's Facebook page and say who you are masking up for. Well, fog is the concern this morning. As you can see through city cam, uh, visibility down below a half mile uh, in many locations, including Winona, Black River Falls, here in La Crosse, Sparta, Viroqua, Decorah, and Boscobel. So a dense fog advisory in place for much of the area through 8 o'clock this morning. Use caution out there early on. Less than four months before the election, President Trump is replacing his campaign manager, Brad Parscale, with veteran GOP operative Bill Stepien. The president announced the move overnight on Facebook. Trump and Parscale's relationship has been strained since the president's rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, drew a dismal crowd. Happening tomorrow, Vice President Mike Pence is set to visit our area. Pence will be visiting Morning Star Farm in Onalaska and will also take part in a roundtable discussion about the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. The vice president will first stop in Ripon, Wisconsin to deliver remarks tomorrow morning. Two Wisconsin lawmakers are introducing a bill that would make defacing or destroying statues a felony. The effort comes after protesters tore down two statues at the state capitol in Madison last month. The measure would make damaging any historical monument on public property or maintained by the government punishable by up to three and a half years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Wisconsin plans to have its sports teams wear a University Crest logo with a black W to show solidarity with black and other underrepresented communities on campus. School officials say the change would take effect whenever Wisconsin sport teams return to action. Wholesale milk prices have nearly doubled since April. Prices hit a five-year low earlier this year during the pandemic. Now they've gone from around $13 per hundred weight to 24. This spike is likely due to the government buying food boxes, restaurants opening back up, and low cheese prices driving up the export market. Before prices go back down, daily policy experts say farmers should think about refilling cash reserves and paying off some debt. Pace setters for Great Rivers United Way's annual campaign are coming together to support programs in our area. Yesterday, pace setters volunteered at five spots around town to kick off the annual Day of Caring. You can also get involved with the Great Rivers United Way Day of Caring. Just visit the website that you see on your screen. Uh, it allows you to get into places that you can't get with a squad car. La Crosse police officers are hitting the road for some two-wheel training. Eight members of the La Crosse Police Department spent the day training on bicycles. The officers learned about starting and stopping the bike quickly, as well as how to follow a suspect while on a bike. The 22-hour training continues today. Well, one thing the uh, thick fog does is really bring out the uh, dirt smudges on our CityCam 8 time uh, our lens. See that right in the middle there? Yeah.
Got to get the scrubber out this morning. Uh, it is thick out there. Use caution. Allow extra time for that morning commute. Temperatures, though, very refreshing in the 50s uh, across the area. Dew points low in the 50s as well. And this fog will mix out by about 8 or 9 a.m. or so. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine today. Warmer with highs in the low, uh, low to mid 80s, but not overly humid. And that's going to make for a really nice mid-July day. More humid tomorrow. Small chance for an afternoon storm, 89. Better chance of storms later Saturday and Saturday night. Some could be strong, also hot, humid with highs in the low 90s. Heat indices as high as 105, so Saturday is an alert day. We want to thank you for sharing your Thursday morning with us. We hope you have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.